for you being here today. Thank God for everything he's done and everything he's going to do. Uh, thank God for bringing us through the week, allowing the hurt of day to come upon us. And we ask for your prayers as the day go forth. And we also ask for your participation in the name of Jesus as we lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, our verse today, I thank God for Bishop Silas Myers, who's the pastor here in Amistad, Dr. Evangelist Church. We're located in Hopkins, the beautiful city of Hopkins, South Carolina. And right now we're going to read from the uh, from John 4, 24. And it reads, God is spirit, and the worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. And these are two elements that must come together because a lot of times we have the enthusiasm, but it does nothing but worse than being strong and wrong. <laughs> and we're going to be strong, let's be right. Yeah. To have the spirit of truth as well. You know, thank God for the end. And we ask Silas to come forth and give us a word of prayer. Bishop Silas. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. What is the highest praise? What is the highest praise? What is the highest praise? Hallelujah. As we come before the Lord, let's bow down, hallelujah, in the spirit of posture, in the humble before him, Lord. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we exalt you for our day, Lord. We thank you for being so good, so kind, so merciful unto us, for watching and protecting us, Lord, as we lay down, as you cover us, hallelujah, we thank you, we praise you, Lord. We decrease that you may increase, that you get all the glory and the honor, for you are our King, our Lord, our Savior, Lord. We thank you, hallelujah, for the Sunday, for you have brought us again to see everyone's smiling face, hallelujah, because we could have gone, hallelujah, and passed on, hallelujah, but you kept us, and we thank you, and we praise you, hallelujah. We thank you for just being the God of God, being the King of kings, being our Abba Father, hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you for dying on the cross, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you on today, Lord Jesus. As the word go forth, hallelujah, let it not fall on deaf ears, hallelujah. Lord, bring forth the word, hallelujah, that we feel the hearts, the minds, the soul, and bring back deliverance and break change on today, hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you, Lord, for the songs that we're going to render up to you, Lord. Let it be a sweet and smell of savor unto you, hallelujah, that we get no glorified, hallelujah, that no flesh, be, hallelujah, be glorified, Lord, but you get all the glory and the honor. We thank you and we praise you. We exalt you on today. Lord, for those who are listening on the broadcast, hallelujah, touch their hearts and minds, Lord Jesus, and encourage, hallelujah, each and every soul. In the name of Jesus, we ask and declare and decree all of this in your name and seal it with your blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're in your presence. Let it rain, oh, your rain. Let it fall on me. We're in your presence. Let it rain, oh, your rain. Let it fall. Oh 
Media, uh, we thank God for you, you and you, wherever you might be uh, today. Amen. We encourage you to like and share this as we move forth uh, in the worship, and uh, we we are grateful unto God amen, for all of His goodness. Amen. And uh, we do love the Lord, Amen, because He did first love us, Amen, and He created us, and we are grateful unto Him. Amen. We lift and we magnify the name of our God. Amen. We are uh, going to ask the praise team to sing one more uh, song um, and then the word of the Lord. Amen. And so let's receive them one more time as they come forth and um, give us a selection. Amen. And, and we know that we serve a great, great God. Amen. There is none like him in all the earth. Amen. And, and so we want to we want to sing praises. If you know the song, amen, sing along with us and uh, and clap your hands and stomp your feet, amen, uh, because the Lord is worthy of our praise, amen. Let's receive them again one more time and then the, the word of the Lord, amen. Let's give our hand, uh, give my hand clap of praise and come forth. Bless us in Jesus' name. The greatness of our Lord is inconceivable.
I know you serve a great God. You serve a great God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And he is none like our God. He is none like unto him. He is in the class all by himself. Amen. Amen. Give him the praise. Let's give God a hand up for praise in your time. I serve the Lord. We thank the Lord and against everyone who's in the sanctuary. Amen. We thank God for every um, everyone amen, who's joining us. Um, get ready, encourage you to like and to share um, and to make your comments uh, and say amen. And uh, just uh, just to uh, show your uh, support in Jesus' name and to express yourself. Amen. I know you don't have to be in the sanctuary to express yourself. Amen. You can ride down the road and express yourself. You can be in your house and express yourself. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. We're going to go into where the Lord in the book of 1 Peter. Book of 1 Peter chapter number 1. And we're going to be in the 13th through the 16th verse. Amen. I want to talk this morning. Amen. And teach some. Amen. On this uh, topic in Jesus' name. It's 1 Peter. Chapter number 1, verses 13 through 16. It says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust of your in your uh, ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because uh, it is written, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." Amen. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Dear God, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time that you brought us together. Thank you, God, for the gathering of your people on this morning. Thank you, God, for this time that you brought us into your word. I pray, Lord, that you would be with us. I pray that God you would help me to decrease. I pray, God, that you would increase in me now, Lord. I pray, God, that you would just bless. Uh, God, give a strength, edification. Uh, build up your people right now in the name of Jesus. So, God, and I pray that you are glorified through the preached word. Bless as only you can in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for uh, this word, amen. I want to uh, teach on something on today, amen, and, uh, and my topic is very simple, amen. I want to talk about true holiness. Somebody say true holiness, amen, true holiness, amen. We want to get into this word, amen, and we're going to give some definitions, Amen. I want to mostly be in teaching mode. Amen. So let us uh, dig into uh, the word on today. Um, I want to deal with this because uh, many people um, proclaim um, holiness. Some people have holiness on the building of the church. Um, and we have really... We, we say it is not a denomination, but we have denominationalized, if there's a word, uh, the uh, holiness or the way of holiness. Amen. But I want to break down today and I want to get. Uh, we're going to give a found. Holiness, amen. The Bible says that God is 
holy. He is holy, amen. And as he is holy, God wants us to be a holy people. And so as, as the scripture says, wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. Bring your mind uh, into alignment. And I want you to be sober. I want you to be um, uh, I want you to be able to be able to uh, to be sober. And, and that, that sober is to be uh, mindful, to to have clarity of mind, to be able uh, to to distinguish. And uh, and so he says, be sober and and hope to the end for the grace that is brought uh, be brought unto you in the revelation of Jesus Christ. So I want to I want to release something here that that your holiness is going to bring you into a revelation. It is going to it is going to be a opening up uh, of of Jesus Christ unto you. And if your holiness does not bring up a opening of Jesus Christ to you, then there's something wrong with your holiness. Amen. Holiness. Amen. So, so it is the revealing. Amen. God reveals Himself as we bring our minds. Amen. We bring. Uh, we gird up the loins of our minds that we we gather. Amen. Ourselves. We 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 make ourselves firm and we and we we we, we expect something of the Lord. Amen. As we draw unto Him in holiness. Amen. And and it says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourself. According to the former lust uh, in your ignorance, and so Amen. Holiness is going to bless us. It's going to to draw us into obedience. It's going to cause us, Amen, not to uh, walk after our former lifestyle. Amen. The things that that used to to move us uh, is it, going to cause us to get out of the the the, the lust of our uh, of our ignorance. And so you know when when you are when you're uh, lustful, you 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 are willfully ignorant. Come on, anybody know what I'm talking about? When you're lustful, you're real willfully ignorant. That means that you you're gonna talk yourself into what you want to do. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know it's wrong, but but your lust is going to justify what you're going to do. Amen. It is the lust that is in our heart. It is the desires uh, that is that is already in us. Amen. We want to know where wars and, and, and things like that come from. It comes from the lust uh, that is in our own hearts and in our own minds. And, and it drives us. It, it justifies what we want to do. Amen. Have you ever seen anybody who sat under the word of God for years and years and years? And Amen. When they want to do a thing, they, they all of a sudden become ignorant. Amen. They all of a sudden become ignorant. Amen. They don't. They don't. They want to get married so bad. They don't. They don't recognize that boy is switching too much. Come on. Amen. They just willfully ignorant. Yeah. And, and, and so we got to be sober. You got to. You got to have a, a straight mind. You can't let uh, your lust cause you to be ignorant. Amen. And so, so the Bible says, Amen. But as He which is have called us is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. That means that everything that we do, that it ought to be uh, through, the, through the lens of holiness. Uh, that don't mean that you walk around with your, with your nose up. That don't mean you walk around with the sanctified face all the time. Come on, that don't mean that you, you walk around like you've been sitting on lemons, amen. That, that, what that means is, amen, that you filter everything through, amen, your, 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 your consciousness, amen, that God is giving you, amen. That, that means that uh, you, you, can, you can laugh and you can play, but there's certain jokes you should not be involved in, right? So all manner of conversation, everything that we do, everything, everywhere that we go, it ought to be filtered, amen, through the life of of holiness, amen, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy, amen. So if he that has called us is holy, amen, he is also calling us to holiness, amen. Somebody tell me, amen, what it is, what it is, amen. Somebody say, amen, holiness is not hard. I know we treat it hard. I, I know we strain sometimes. But holiness is not hard, amen, when your foundation is correct, when your, 
when your motive is correct, amen, it is it is not a hard thing uh, to walk in the way of holiness, amen. Let us get into the word here on today, amen. Holy is uh, hegios, amen, hegios. We're going to give the definition of, of holiness, amen. Uh, uh, Sometimes we think, of, especially back in the day, that holiness was allowed music in the church. Holiness was struck boards. That's a holiness church. Uh, holiness was staying in church till 12 o'clock. And, and, and there's so many uh, things that we that we uh, attribute to it, amen. But let us break it down, amen, at the base of what it is, amen. We're going to deal with the foundation, amen, on today. And it don't matter, amen, if you stay in the church at 12 o'clock. If the Lord moving that way, amen, that's fine. Amen. But that don't define holiness. That does not mean holy. Holy means to be dedicated or consecrated to God. Dedicated or consecrated to God, amen. There was a the, the, the another definition, amen, that, that I love, amen, is set apart for God to be, as it were, exclusively his. Come on, somebody say exclusively uh, his. I love that, amen. I love that. I love that definition, amen. I, I want to be exclusively his, amen. That is, that is holy, amen. Uh, it means uh, sacred, consecrated, hallowed. Is, it means it, it, it has been put aside for a, a purpose. And, and, and as we look at God, who is all holy, he is most holy. Uh, and the song of, that, that we last sang, amen, and I said, amen, he's in a class all by himself. Amen. He is the epitome of holiness. Amen. He is set aside. He is set aside as the creator. He is set aside as our God. He is set aside, amen, as the originator, amen, the, the beginning and the ending. He is he's in a class all by himself. He is all holy. He can do no wrong. We, we might do wrong, but he can do no wrong. He can't lie. He can't lie, amen. That's how holy he is. He cannot tell a lie, amen. He's so holy that, you know, if, if it's wrong, when he said, it becomes the truth. Come on. I said, when he said, it becomes the truth because he is just that holy. He is that consecrated. He is that, he is that set aside, amen. Uh, that, he is that so beyond everything else, amen. He is altogether holy, amen. Let us give praise, amen, to the holy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for hold his holiness. Thank God that he don't make any mistakes. Thank God that he's in that class all by himself. He is a God above every God. He is a God of God. He is the Lord of lords. Amen. He is altogether lovely. I can't even keep my eyes on him because he is so holy. Amen. And just as a side note, the holy God has, has allowed his spirit to dwell on the inside of us. More men. Come on. Have you ever thought about that? The most holy God is in us. He is the hope of glory on the inside of us. Yes, though I failed him, though I have come short of his glory, amen, the most holy God is well among mortal men, amen. That is something to be grateful for, amen. He is a holy God. When you're in a class all by yourself, amen, you don't have to really get in the, in the, in the mix of other things, but he is so love us, amen, love us. Amen. That even while we were yet sinners, amen, the scripture said he died, uh, Christ died for us. Amen. Yeah, yes, he is a most holy God. That means he is, he is suitable. That means he is, he, is, uh, he is consecrated, dedicated, amen, for the purpose, amen, uh, that, that he has come for, amen, and even to be among us. Amen. He is consecrated. Amen. I, I meant to bring a screwdriver with me today, but you know, a screwdriver uh, it, uh, it, it is it is it is uh, it is intended to uh, to to put screws into the boards and different things, whatever it is. Amen. It, it is it has a purpose. But but anybody like me, you have you tried to use a screwdriver for something else? Yeah. 
We, we, we use a screwdriver to pry things over, open. We use a screwdriver to, to, to beat things. We don't, when we don't have that hand, we start using it to, to beat stuff. But, but that's not what it's for. It's not what it's for, amen. And, and you can hurt yourself or you can, you can overwork yourself because you don't have the right kind of equipment, amen. I, I come to tell you, man, Jesus, uh, Jesus is and God is the right one, amen. He, he is the Lord of all. He is, he is consecrated and he can do anything. That true job is limited. It's not meant to beat stuff. Amen. But, but God is limitless. He is, he is able to do anything. Amen. He's able to turn around any kind of situation. He is a, a holy God. And, 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 and so the foundation of holiness, y'all, is, is the, the idea that we have been set apart. We've been set apart. Come on, we have been uh, we have been placed uh, in, in position and uh, and consecrated and, and hallowed uh, for the purpose of God. Amen. I want to deal with some holiness here. Amen. Listen, um, um, in Jeremiah chapter two, uh, verses two and three, we're going to read there. Amen. Uh, we're going to read there. I, I want to talk about these things. Listen, we got to have the foundation right. Before you begin to do anything, you need to have your foundation right. Before you follow any rule, amen, you need to have your foundation right, amen. Because God often dealt with his people about the stuff that they were doing. He, he said, I'm tired of your sacrifice. I, I, I'm tired of uh, your, your, your rituals, amen. Why was he tired of them, amen? Because uh, their hearts had gone away from God. The hearts and all the way from God. We're going to read here. Jeremiah chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. It says, It says, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not shown. Amen. You followed me out of Egypt. And willingly, amen. We know they messed up along the way, but they followed willingly, amen. They went after God, even though they were going into the wilderness. I want to know, are you willing to follow God even when they don't look good? Come on, even when things look the opposite way, amen, are you willing to follow after him because, amen, you, you, you're, you're wanting to be in his will, you want to be in his way, amen. Verse he says, Israel was holiness unto the Lord. They were set apart. They were, they were consecrated unto the Lord, amen. They were, they were my people who sought after me. They were my beloved, amen. They, they were the ones, amen, that, that I set apart for my purpose. But, but you know what Israel did? They began to, they began to uh, take on other gods. They began to take on other ways, amen. Listen, they still had the name. They still had the name. I believe it's in Revelation uh, uh, 3, it talks uh, to, to Sardis and says that it has a, you have a name that you're living, but you're dead. You, you have a name that you're living, but you are dead. I mean, what a what a damnable uh, declaration over a people. And he says, "Amen." So, so their name was still Israel. Israel means um, that they were they they, they 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 wrestled with God. It means that they were they were chosen of God. Israel, Amen. That that name itself has power. Amen. It, it, uh, it means he will rule as God, but is he still ruling? I, I know you call yourself Israel, but is, is he still ruling? Amen. Or, or are you just living, are you just walking with a name? Amen. Uh, Israel was holiness unto the Lord, and the first fruit of his increase. All that thy him shall offend, evil shall come upon them, said the Lord. Amen. See, when we get out of God's will and God's way, amen, we begin to we begin to uh, in, in, indulge and, and and we get out from under the safety of God. Amen. And so God here in Jeremiah is telling them to return, return. I got a question, amen. Are you, are you doing it for ritual? Are you doing it, amen, for duty? 
Or are you doing it because you want to be with him? Come on. Amen. Are you, are you doing it because you love him? Are you doing it because it is the, the, the passion of your heart? Uh, yeah, I, I know, amen, that, that, that when you were when you, you were dating, amen, and, uh, and you were so after that person, and, uh, and you would call and, and, and call right back. I believe there's a secular song for that. Call and you call right back. And you didn't really have to have nothing to talk about. Come on, anybody got on the phone and said, mm-hmm. Just to hear the voice, come on. Just to know that the other person is on the line. Yeah, because that was your betrothal. That was your, you, 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 you're going after them. You're going after them, man. And, and you just love hearing that voice and being uh, in the presence, amen. Uh, uh, but now, now, somebody say now. Now we're in a rush to get off the phone. Now we're in a rush to get it over with. Come on. We got, to, we got to be able to check that out. Amen. Uh, say, Lord, help me to get my first love back. Come on. Help me to get my first love back. Amen. Uh, help me, Lord, amen, to, to be able uh, to express, amen, in, the, uh, in, in a way and, and, and have the, uh, the, the feeling that I, that I used to have. Come on. Amen. Help me, Lord, to, uh, to be restored to, to where I used to be. Lord, help me that when I get on my knees, amen, it's because I just want to be in your presence. It's not just my duty to be on my knees. It's just not, oh, yeah, it's that, it's that time of day, you know, oh, Lord, it's that time. It's that day. It is that time. Uh, we, we don't want to get to that place. We need to be able to say, I look forward to my time with God. Amen. Uh, there's something precious about that because this has been consecrated. It has been set aside for God. Amen. This is a holy moment. Come on. Somebody say, this is a holy moment. Yes, Lord. Amen. This ain't nothing to rush through. This is a holy moment. Israel was holding this unto the Lord. Set aside, y'all. Set aside. I'm going to want to be set aside. Amen. Before I fall, fall in any rule, I want to be set aside. Before I do anything, I want to be set aside. I want my purpose, amen, to be right in God. See, see, see I got my wedding band on this morning. That, that, that don't mean I'm dedicated. All right. It's just, uh, it's a statement. I appreciate the statement. But, um, there's got to be something real behind the thing, right? Otherwise, it's just a ring. Come on, it's just a ring, amen. But, but I need to let it represent my dedication. I need to, to let it uh, represent uh, uh, the continuation, amen. That's why it's a circle. It's, it, it represents some stuff, amen. But, but you, know, it, you know there's a lot of people who got the ring on. But at a certain time, they're going to take it off. Or they're going to do what they were going to do even with the ring on. Come on. It don't matter, amen. They'll go ahead and wear that ring, amen, and not be dedicated and not be, uh, not be committed, amen, even in the absence uh, uh, of the individual, amen. See, when you when you dedicate, you're going to do it when they're dead and when they're not. Come on. When, you, when you're going to be holy, you're going to do it on Sunday and you're going to do it Monday through Saturday also. Amen. See, my, 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 my dedication to God don't just take place on Sunday. We got a lot of people, amen, that is where they are. As long as I can get to church on Sunday. Amen. I'm going to club on Saturday now. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to club on Friday. I'm going to get with Susie on Thursday. As long as I can get to the house of the Lord on Sunday, I'm going to be all right. Amen. You are sadly mistaken. Come on. Amen. That is not, there's nothing holy about that. Amen. You've got to be who you are all the time. Come on. Amen. Somebody say, be who you are all the time. I don't want to just do it because somebody looking at me. Uh, yeah, when I get around the church folks, amen, I, I'll do this. Amen. But I want to do it all the time. Amen. 
I want to be who I am. Amen. Israel was holiness unto, unto God. Amen. They were a dedicated people unto God. Amen. They were set apart. Amen. For, for, for me. Amen. And I'm going back to that definition that I love. Amen. Set apart to God to be as it were exclusively his. Holiness is being exclusively his. Y'all know what I mean? That don't mean you can't have friends. That don't, that don't mean you sit around and talk to God all day. But when you're exclusively his, amen, again, everything is filtered through that relationship. Everything is filtered through the relationship. That, that means that there's some certain places that only he can go. That, that means that only certain things that, that only belong to God. Amen. You, you know how that is a relationship. There's certain things, you know, you have friends, but, but you don't do with your friends what you do with your husband or your, or your wife. You, you, you don't get involved. Amen. You don't give them the same information. Come on. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get in the bed with your friends. Right? Amen. There's some things that are exclusively for that. Amen. And so in God, there's some things that are exclusively his. Amen. I am exclusively his. Amen. I don't flirt anymore, right? Because I am exclusively his. I don't, I don't make that suggestion because I'm now exclusively his. Amen. I might have used to flirt with you, but I'm different now. Come on. See, some people expect you to act the same. They expect you to act the same. But, but when you are exclusive, that means that there are places that, that I don't go uh, with, with, with other people, amen. There are things that I don't do with other people. I, I got to filter through, amen, my, my eyes with God. And so, amen, when, I, when, I, when I'm being a comedic, when I'm being funny, I'm still filtering that through the eyes of God. Why? Because I am exclusively his. I'm not going to do anything to bring him shame. I'm not going to do anything to bring a disappointment to, to him. Amen. I'm not going to do anything that is going to, uh, to mess over what we have. Amen. Somebody say, hold on. I'm not going to do anything to mess over, amen, our relationship. I'm not going to go into that because, amen, I am so exclusively his, amen. I don't want to, I don't want to allow anything to get in the way of uh, my intimacy with God, amen, my relationship with God. I don't want anything to come in between that. So, amen, I am exclusively his, amen. I don't follow after, after temptation because I am exclusively his. Uh, I don't, I don't go to places uh, that, that appear, uh, even the, the appearance, amen. The Bible says avoid the, the, uh, the very appearance of evil, amen. I, I don't even want the appearance to be bad because I am exclusively his. I'm the bad for exclusivity. So when you're exclusive, as that first verse we read, amen, when you're exclusive, you have access. The things that other people don't have access to. When you're supposed to be his, amen, he now trusts you with more information, more access, more power. Amen. I'm talking about holding this show, amen, exclusively his. I am so consecrated, amen, that everywhere and every time, amen, no matter what it is, amen, I am open to his call. Amen. See, holding this y'all, amen, it is any time, any way, anywhere. Somebody say it, any time. Any way. Anywhere. Amen. If there's a need of me, I want to be accessible. Amen. By God. Amen. That is holiness. Amen. Anytime God needs you, I'm available. If he need me to, to speak a word, amen, I'm available. If he need me to, uh, to anoint somebody in prayer, I'm available, amen. I, I am here for his purpose. Lord, amen, my job surrounds you. 
Amen. My career. Amen. You're at the center of my career. You're at the center of my joy. You're at the center of everything that I do. You're at the center of my marriage. You're at the center of me raising my children. You're at the center of my friendships. And God, I am accessible unto you. Amen. See, holiness is about being about uh, as God is. Amen. Be like him. Holiness is being like him. That, that means that mean we ought to be able to, 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 to make an adjustment. Lord, if you need me to do this today, this is what I'm going to do. If you need me to do something else tomorrow, this is what I'm going to do. Amen. See, that's why he put his spirit on the inside of us. Amen. We are a versatile people. Come on. Amen. We, we, yes, God will be specific with us. Amen. But God also allow us, amen, to be versatile. Come on. Amen. I can pray today. I can encourage tomorrow. I can speak a word, amen, the day after that, amen. I am accessible unto God. Why? Amen. Because anytime, any way, amen, somebody say, any way, Lord, any way you bless me, any way you want to use me, I'm available unto you. I'm available anytime, any way, anywhere. See, when you become holy, amen, you are becoming more of a reflection of God. It is your love. Amen. I, I, I want to pray because I love him, y'all. Right. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray. I want to pray because I love him. It don't need to be a strain for me to, to pray. Amen. That, that, is your, that is your dedication unto God. That is your, that is your exclusive uh, place with God. Amen. I, I just love it. Amen. To be exclusive with him. Uh, God said, I have no other God before me. Right. Right. Have no other God before me. See, you can't be jealous because nothing don't belong to you. That's why the Bible says you don't be jealous. Because it don't belong to you. But God can be jealous. He's jealous because it all belongs to him. You don't even own your, your, your spouse. You don't own your car. You don't own your house. It all belongs to him. I know we get jealous. I, I know we get jealous. Amen. But, but, but the Bible tells us we don't, we don't need to be jealous. But God said, I am a jealous God. I'm jealous because it all belongs to me. It, it, it is all mine. Amen. It's all mine. And, and, and so we submit ourselves unto him. Amen. We want to be a reflection of who God is. Amen. And, and, and that, is not, that is not about you coming to church four days a week. But it's not just the display of somebody saying, oh, this is a holiness church. It, 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 it is deeper, amen, than our sound. It is deeper than how we look. It is deeper, amen, that the foundation must be, amen, that we are consecrated unto him. Somebody say consecrated. Consecrated. I believe we're living in a time where people are going through formalities. People are going through the motions. God tell us, amen, today, man, I don't want your motions. I'm not interested in your motion. I'm interested in your heart. I'm interested in your relationship with me, amen. We'll go over the other stuff later on, but, but, but where is your heart toward me? Where is your mind toward me, amen? Where are you, amen? Are you consecrated to me, amen? Are, are, are other people beating you out? Is what important to God important to you? Come on, somebody say, that's holiness. If it's important to God, it needs to be important to you. I think our list is backwards. We, we could get God's list and then your list. I think our list is, is, is way off. How you know, preacher? It's in, it's in our behavior. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't, don't tell me God know my heart. And you're doing wrong.
Jeg vil ikke tro det gamle man har. Ja, ja, ja. Det er sige sig. Gør noget man har. Yeah, and you, you're saying that my heart was really wanting to be there. But what prevented you? I just uh, didn't, didn't feel like it. It, it really falls down. Now, if you're sick, just stay home. I understand. I, I, it, I know that sometimes you, you, you need to be out. I know we're COVID now, but I'm talking about it normal thing. I know that sometimes we need to be out. Amen. I, I ain't that crazy or uh, 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 I, I don't think like that. You know, I, I, I've missed church myself. Come on. So, but 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 don't uh, say something is in my heart, but there was a continuous manifestation of something else. A continuous manifestation of something opposite, amen, of what you were saying in your heart, amen. That I, I don't believe it's in your heart. You, you don't see my heart? Yeah, I see your heart. I, I, I can see your heart, amen, by your continuous behavior. Come on. Your continuous behavior, amen. See, because what is in the heart strong enough, amen, so your heart is all over the place, but, but the strong thing in your heart is going to drive you to do what you need to do and what you want to do. Come on. Amen. You can find a, a, a ride to work, but you can't even find a ride to church. We can do all kind of things, amen, for other areas. Amen. I saw you at the concert and it was packed in there. But church, I gotta be so I gotta I gotta practice some I gotta practice some. There's too many people in the church. At the concert, you were arm to arm with people. At the concert, you were up hollering and, and all that breath going out in the air. But when you come to church, you worry about somebody's breath. Your heart is telling. Where you are and what you're doing is telling where you are. Amen. I, I come to tell you, man, let us be consecrated unto God. Consecrated unto God. We can watch a TV series for three hours. But can't pray for 30 minutes. God know my heart. Just think about it. Come on, think about that, amen. How easy it is to sit there and watch and watch and watch. Some of y'all watch all night long. You binge watch it. You into series. Uh, I'm going to cut it off after this episode. But this episode will leave you hanging. So I got to watch the next one. Come on, I gotta watch the next one in the next. I'm gonna stop at I'm gonna stop at two o'clock in the morning. And, and before you know it, the sun is rising. I'm gonna talk about some people. I'm not y'all. Amen. But before you know it, the sun is coming up on you. As a matter of fact, fact, you get to the point where it's watching you. But you still sit there. But God knows our heart. Come on, saints, let us be consecrated. Let us be a consecrated people. Let us be a dedicated people unto our God. Amen. That, I want to be exclusive. Somebody, I want to be exclusively His. Exclusively His. Come on. Every day. Every time. Every hour. When I'm in the grocery store, I'm still exclusively His. Amen. I don't just have an encouraging word at church. When I see somebody in the street that need a word, I'm exclusively his. Lord, if you want me to do this right now, I'll do it. I want to ask you a question. How many walked away knowing you needed to do something but didn't do it? I know I should have gave a word. I know I should have said something. I know I should have done this or that. It came on my heart to do this or that, but I still didn't do it. I didn't listen 
to the spirit of God on the inside of me. Come on, you failed the holiness test when you did that. Not the God is sitting there with a little check mark. No, no. But I'm telling you, in that moment, you were not exclusively his. You went in your own mind. You went in your own distrust of yourself. You went in your own feelings. You went in your own way, amen. You did not filter it through the spirit of God on the inside of you, amen. In that moment, you were not exclusively his. I'm exclusively belong to God. Come on, somebody, amen. I got to, I got to go. We got to go. Come on, amen. We got to go. But, 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 but somebody say anytime, anytime. anyway, anyway. So you're not consecrated, right, as, I, as I hear, you're not consecrated and set aside just to look good. See, separation is not about not being involved. It is not about um, pushing others away. See, this, this screwdriver is, is, is consecrated to, for screws. Right? And not just any screw. A certain kind of screw. It, it, it's consecrated for that. It ain't no good for this to, to, to look good. Oh, that's a nice screwdriver. How many got some tools at the house you don't even use? Right? Right? But you got that thing, it is for a purpose. It's for a purpose. So it's been consecrated, it's been dedicated for a certain purpose. It is not just for the sake of being a screwdriver or a hammer, whatever. It, it, it is not, it's not just for that, amen. It is consecrated, just as God was consecrated. God is consecrated and he has fulfilled everything that he is supposed to do. That enabled him to come in us. I said that enabled him to come in us. Because he is so perfect. He is so wonderful. He is so holy. And then the holy God, he is in our example, y'all. The holy God came to dwell in the hearts of a flawed man. Of an, uh, of an unholy man or woman. Come on. His holiness is not just for him to stay up, off away from us. But his, his, his consecration is for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I want to I say to everyone who would be holy, God has called you to be holy for the purpose of God. Amen. Not just to go to heaven. Right. Somebody is trying to avoid hell. Lord, let me live right. Let me do right until I close my eyes. That ain't what God told you to do. He said, occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. Don't, don't take what God gave you. Well, Lord, I know you was hard, so I just buried it. I'm going to give you back what you gave me. And I, and I said, you were foolish. You are a you are an unworthy servant. Come on. Come on. God's done it for a reason. Somebody say true holiness. Don't let the don't let the unrighteous outdo us. I said, don't let the unrighteous outdo us. Amen. While we sit back and look holy. Everybody stand on your feet. See, that ain't our drums. Everybody got drums now. Once upon a time, church, the other church used to say, don't bring that noise in here. Don't bring no organ up in here. We have our piano and our hymn books. Don't bring that noise up in here. So it ain't about your noise. Everybody got noise. A lot of, a lot of people got noise now.
Everybody shouting too. Come on. But can you be holy? Can you be holy? Can you be set apart and dedicated? Amen. I'm always, and I'm uh, as I was studying, it said, Lord, help me to be a holy person. Help me to be holy. Amen. Growing out of that relationship with my God. Hallelujah. If you're not getting communication from him, then how can you be holy? If he's not leading your life and your everyday life, then how can you be holy? You can't do it. Because all holiness comes from him. So if you're not communicating with him, you can't, you can't, you can't even attempt to be a holy person. You've got to be with him. Come on, Lord, help my thoughts. Amen. Some of y'all ain't doing stuff. What you thinking about? Lord, even help my thoughts in the name of Jesus. Somebody say true holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, amen. This is the foundation. This is just the foundation, amen. Come on, we're going to pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not praying, amen, a, a strenuous thing, amen. It, it, it's not hard, amen, when it grows out of relationships. Saints. Come on, amen. So, Lord, help me today. Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray, God, as we are in your presence uh, on this day. God, I pray that you would just uh, transform our hearts and our minds, oh God. Help us, oh God, to get on the foundation in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and help us to build upon the foundation on the day. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray for consecration. I pray, oh God, for dedication unto you right now, God. I pray, oh God, for submissiveness unto you, God. We're going to be submitted to you, O oh God, anytime, anywhere, O oh God. Oh God, any way, anyhow, God, any way that you want to use us. God, we submit to you right now in the name of, of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that you will move upon us, oh God. Give us uh, a holy life right now, God. Help us to walk in holiness, oh God. Help us to walk it out every day in the name of Jesus. Help us to walk it out every hour, Lord, oh God. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus to desire to commune with you, oh God, to be in your presence. Help us, oh God, to fulfill your will in the earth, oh God, through our lives in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for your strength right now, God. Help us to fall in love with you all over again, oh God. Oh God, return, oh God, help us to return to you, oh God. As you cried out unto Israel, oh God, and Jeremiah, oh God, how they came after you, oh God. They espouse, oh God. Help us to return to that place where we come after you, God. Oh God, we follow you everywhere. Even where we cannot see, Lord, we, we want to be able to follow you in holiness. We want to be able to go after you, oh God. We want to consecrate. God, help us to be exclusively yours. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help me to be holy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help me to be holy, God. In the name of Jesus, help me not to be strained, Lord. We don't want to strain. Lord, we don't want to strain. No, God. Hallelujah. The way of the wicked is hard. The way of the unrighteous is hard. But your yoke is easy. Your yoke is easy. Your burden is light. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God praise in the house on this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If everyone is missed. Hallelujah. Yes, I only have eyes for him. Come on. I only have eyes for him. Yes, my eyes are not wondering. Come on. My eyes are not wondering. My eyes are not wondering. Him. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't even thinking about nothing else. Thank you, Jesus. Because my eyes are on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We may continue to say, amen, in other areas, amen, but I just want to lay a foundation 
on today in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, be with us as we prepare to leave this place. Surround us with your mercy and your grace, O oh God. Surround us with your love in the name of Jesus. Oh God, help us to know and realize how passionate you are about us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, O oh God, that you would exude, help us, O oh God, to exude holiness in our heart and our minds, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, help us to know, oh God, the foundation right now. In the name of Jesus, oh God, help us and direct us in Jesus' name. Keep us now, Lord, even as we prepare uh, to leave this place, Lord, with the, not your presence. Oh God, let your presence continues to be around us. Oh God, help us to feel you and know that you're always there. In the name of Jesus, keep us until we're able to come together again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.